And I notice you've got uh, a bunch of pro. We got WordPerfect for Windows and Microsoft Word. Right. For uh, just doing letters and some well, like desktop. Well, I like to write my my uh, faxes in WordPerfect, and uh, I like Microsoft Word just because the way the the bar works. The tool bar, up on yeah. Top. yeah. Yeah, a lot of people say that. They're using PageMaker too. What do you use PageMaker for? Well, we use PageMaker to make our invoices. Oh, that's clean. And then, then we run these through, and the, the point of sale program puts the, puts the numbers customer on. information on there. So you use a dot matrix printer that runs these forms through it at your point of sale. Right. You're creating these things on your Okie Data laser printer. laser printer. You're running all this on an IBM 486. Now you've also got some other neat programs. You've got Corel on there. You're using Quattro Pro as your spreadsheet from right. for Orland. For our point of sale. The, uh, the Corel Draw is how we get the images in Corel Draw and then we transfer them into PageMaker and Microsoft Word. Like we make our business cards in Microsoft Word with using an Avery program. Computer man, airborne. I fear no evil. One of my favorite things about Computer City is the software selection. I mean, would you look at this place? They've got every kind of software you could ever imagine needing. Now, a couple of things about software. A couple of rules of thumb. Check the box. Different software is written for different types of operating systems. You really need to read the box. In addition, they'll tell you how much hard drive space and how much RAM they recommend for running that program. So make sure you've got the right system for the software you're selecting. Now, if you need some help learning your new software, Computer City's got a whole bevy of classes you can take right here on site. And they're conveniently scheduled in the evenings and on weekends to fit your schedule. Now, if you're looking for a new computer, one of the biggest decisions you're going to face is whether or not to get a desktop or traditional computer or one of these hot new notebook or portable PCs. Now, today's new notebook computers are just as powerful as their traditional desktop counterparts. Of course, the main benefit being you can take it with you. But now, there's more than meets the eye here. You've got things like different screen technologies. You've got removable hard drives. Even a thing called PC MCIA, which is a hot new technology that allows you to use credit card size feature cards to upgrade your computer with things like fax modems. So if you're looking for a new computer, be sure and consider these new notebooks are portable computers. Hey, Coach, how you doing? I appreciate you having me out. My pleasure. Great to be here. Listen, first of all, I got to tell you, you know, I'm a huge, huge Celtics fan. I mean, it's a lifelong dream for me to be in the garden. I love the Celtics, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. And I really appreciate you taking the time to tell us how, of all things, I mean, it never fails. We find people using computers in all kinds of applications. An NBA coach, tell me how you use this ThinkPad on the sidelines. Well, it's really great. The uh, IBM has been working with us over a number of years to try to get this on this bench, and they finally come up with a great IBM ThinkPad. And we use it to uh, put in game stats, our scouting of the opponents. We can draw up one of their plays just by pressing a button, and we also have our plays that we use during the course of the game. That's great. Now, the game stats, is it updated throughout the course of the game? Well, our our scout will try to do it during the game, and then after the game is over, he'll also go back and look at the films and, and enter all the all the information into it. That's great. I mean, this has got to be really high tech for the world of basketball. You've been around for a few years. What, yeah. is, is, do you get a lot of benefit out of having this? We certainly do. And uh, you know, IBM, as I said, is continually updating this and working with the with the coaches' association to try to make it as as feasible as possible to use on the bench and during game situations. Now, were you in a heated situation actually sideline? pull out the notebook and pull up a play. I mean, is it that yeah. critical to you? You're using it, it that? It's that functional. And our assistants, who are usually handling it during the course of the game, because I'm up 
walking yeah, well, I mean, and, you're over here doing communicating this. Communicating to the players and also the officials. So one right. of the assistants will be handling this and monitoring it during the course of the game. That's fantastic. Now, are all the coaches in the NBA use this, or a lot of the teams? The entire NBA Coach Association is now onto it, and the IBM has done a great job of, of getting it to all of us and, and explaining it to us and, and making it up and running. Well, this is certainly high tech for the world of basketball. <laughs> but again, as I said, you know, we see people in so many different settings. I mean, I've been everywhere from from celebrity comedians, you know, down to, to how they're designing parts for the shuttle. I mean, yeah. it's, it seems like there's no area where technology is not being used, and, and in basketball now we see yeah. there's no exception. It's really fantastic, and uh, it'll only get better, yeah. and because we're continually communicating with IBM and trying to come up with new ideas and new functions to use this. Now I've got a great new game for you. It's from Electronic Arts and the Motion Picture Corporation of America Interactive. It's called Blood Wings, Pumpkinhead's Revenge, and it's the first ever truly interactive movie-based adventure game. Now this is great. It's a combination adventure and arcade-style gameplay that has over 60 minutes of actual film footage from the cult classic horror movie series Pumpkinhead. What makes this a first is the fact that the full motion video is also a part of the interactivity. Throughout the game, you enter interactive movie portals. Now, this is really the next step in interactive games. In the movie portal, you grab objects from the film, gather key elements of the story plot, use the elements to go head-to-head -head with Pumpkinhead as you journey to Pumpkinhead's lair. Now, the interactive movie portals also provide an element of change that makes Blood Wings a unique experience every single time you play. So if you're looking for a great new interactive game, check out the first one to put full screen, full motion video into a 3D environment. It's called Blood Wings, Pumpkinhead's Revenge. Now, Compact Presario is really leading the way in terms of value once again with a hot new 486 model. It's a 100 megahertz 486 system with all the multimedia tools you need. It's the CDS 954. And as the name implies, it's got CD. In fact, it's got a quad spin or a 4X CD-ROM player to play all your favorite multimedia titles. Now, all the technical specifics inside this machine are some of the latest and the greatest technologies. First of all, you've got a 486 100 megahertz processor. So you've got really, really lightning fast processing power. In addition, it comes standard with a 535 megabyte hard drive. So you can store all your programs nice and easy. Plenty of room for all those big multimedia programs that are Windows based that tend to take up additional hard drive space. Compact's not going to leave you short. In fact, they didn't leave you short in terms of RAM either. You've got eight megabytes of onboard RAM. And that's really important so that you can get the most out of those multimedia titles. Now, in addition to that, this model comes, as I mentioned, with the CD-ROM drive of 4X, which is real late technology. I mean, that's a fast CD-ROM drive. It's not one of these single spins or double spins. This is much, much quicker. In addition, it works in conjunction with a soundboard. Now, the soundboard allows you to play back audio clips off your favorite games, but it also allows you to play your favorite music titles. That soundboard connected to these speakers will play your favorite CD music titles. So if you've got stuff you like to listen to around the house, you've got a stereo built into here as well. Speaking of other things that are built in, how about hands-free speakerphone and the ability to answer your incoming telephone calls with your own answering machine? It's all built into the Presario. That's the great thing. They've given you everything you need here, from multimedia tools to small business tools. So whether you're doing word processing, doing faxing, or maybe you just want to play your favorite games, Compact has given you all that you need in this Presario model. Now, the Compact Presario CDS 954 comes preloaded with a ton of great software. Again, right out of the box, Compact's got you ready to go. First of all, you've got Microsoft DOS and Windows, you know, the basics. But in addition, you've also got Microsoft Works, which gives you a word processor and a spreadsheet, so you can set up your own business right off the bat. Now, in addition, you've also got Microsoft Encarta. Now, Microsoft Encarta is a multimedia CD-ROM of current events that's great for both the kids and for you parents. In addition to that, you've got America Online if you want to dial up and get into the world of the Internet. You've even got an around-the-house package that'll teach you how to do some light home repair. One of my personal favorites. In addition, you've also got some great games. So again, right out of the box, all the tools that you need. And of course, if you're going to go online, you need a fax modem. 
then the Presario's got you covered there. A 14-4 BOD fax modem to go online to send and receive faxes. Again, you get the point. Value. All the tools that you need for your small office, your home office, for the kids to play games, for you to have fun, are all included on the Presario CDS 954. Multimedia machine, 100 megahertz, 486 processing power. You got it all. Let's talk about printers. Now, when you're shopping for a printer, there's three different kinds of technology that you need to understand so that you make the right choice. There's dot matrix, inkjet, bubble jet, and laser printers. Now, depending on your needs and your budget, you need to select the printer that's right for you. Now, your least expensive printer is usually going to be your dot matrix printer. But likewise, they're not the highest quality output. Great for printing checks, printing forms, or just doing an occasional letter, but probably not the workhorse kind of printer you're going to need for around the office. Speaking of workhorse, the highest end of that spectrum is going to be your laser printer. Now, laser printers will give you great graphics and letter quality output, and they can also print much, much faster than other printers. They're also going to be your most expensive. Split the difference, inkjet bubble jet printers, which give you letter quality output, but they're not near as fast as their laser printer cousins. So depending on your budget and depending on your needs, make sure you select the printer that's right for you. Now this is a mouse or a pointing device for your computer and there's about as many different types of mice or pointing devices as there are personal computers themselves. There's a regular mouse, there's a track point, a roller ball, a thumb mouse, a pen mouse. You can even get a cordless mouse if you'd like. Which one's right for you? Well, it's really a matter of personal choice. I recommend you come over here to the pointing device aisle, touch them, feel them, pick them up and see which one's right for you. You know, if you've seen any of my shows days past, you know what a big fan I am of the NEC Versa line of notebook computers. Well, NEC has raised the bar again with their brand new line of Versa 2000s. This is a hot new series from NEC, and you're going to really like these. Now, this is a line of value systems, but unlike other notebook manufacturers' value systems, which are usually stripped down versions of their high performance models, NEC has designed this line from the ground up to be a value system. It is truly the perfect combination of high performance, state-of-the-art ergonomics, and keen attention to detail when it comes to value. Speaking of ergonomics, right off the bat you notice the sleek new state-of-the-art design incorporated in the Versa 2000. Now some of my favorite features include screen controls, easy to adjust the contrast and brightness. How about these rounded corners and this nice fat wrist rest? This is very comfortable to position your wrist here and use the nice expanded keyboard. You're not in a crunch for space, but my favorite. My very favorite is the Versa Glide. Now you notice this little square down here in the middle of the wrist rest. You simply glide your finger across this and you notice this acts as my mouse or pointing device. It's a substitute for a mouse, but much easier to use than anything I've ever tried before. Now if you're impressed with the outside of the Versa 2000, wait till you see what's under the hood. Try a 486 DX4 75 megahertz processor. Comes in a 4 megabyte and an 8 megabyte RAM standard configuration, expandable all the way up to 40 and it comes standard with a 350 megabyte hard drive expandable to 720 megabytes. So you've got plenty of room to store all your programs. In addition, the 8 megabyte configuration comes standard with an internal fax modem and for you 4 megabyte configuration folks, an easy snap-in fax modem option is available as well. You've got PCMCAA technology and screens, another NEC trademark. Try a 10.4 inch DSTN screen or in a smaller version, a true TFT, active matrix screen, at a little over 9 inches. Now, options galore, and that's one of the great things about the Versa 2000. In addition to having all these wonderful different configuration options, you got a lithium-ion battery that gives you up to 5 hours of battery life. 5 full hours, which is great for those transcontinental flights. But folks, believe it or not, all this starts at under $2,000. That's what I mean about the key point being the fact that this was a value line designed from the ground up. It was designed to come in at under $2,000, now being a stripped down version. In addition, you get NEC's 24 hour a day, seven day a week customer service, which is truly world class. Some pre-installed communication software at no extra charge and expandability. There's even an optional docking station that goes with the 2000 line. So as your needs grow, your system can grow with you. So if you're looking for it all, if you're looking for a value price system that has the latest and cutting edge technology, beautiful, brilliant screens, sleek, state of the art ergonomics, 
and you want it all starting under $2,000, check out the Versa 2000 series from NEC. Thank you.